Ladies and gentlemen, let me start with a quote. Okay, were you expecting? Okay, I know you were not expecting a quote because I just started with the quote. Okay, my name is Olamide Onka, and I want to welcome you to this very exciting edition of Young Boss. And guess what? We have a very, 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 very interesting story that we're going to be telling. It's about a lady that started small and now she's achieving big stuff with her business, all because she discovered the potentials of social media. We're going to be speaking with this fine young woman of course she's married uh, you, know, you guys are thinking so many stuff but just let's speak still thinking anyway we're going to be speaking with adiola akinshulore she is an entrepreneur young entrepreneur and she's going to be telling us her story how she started and she became a young boss so you want to find out stay tuned we'll be right back after this break Welcome back to Young Boss, and I have with me here the lady that I told you about when we started this show. I have Adiola Akinshulure with us. Welcome to the show. It's been so nice to have you on the show. Thank and you. I just want to welcome you. <laughs> it's again. a great privilege to, to be here. I'm so like, excited. Yeah. Thank you for I having complimented me. your smile. I like it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. You know, uh, when, when we were speaking on the phone, we talked about um, so many things and mm -hmm. you told me your story and I uh, found the story very interesting. So I would like for you to, uh, for the sake of uh, posterity and, you know, the world will be watching this. So I want you to tell me how it all started and what you do. Let's okay. start from that side. Um, my name is Adiola, like Olamide rightly said, and yeah. I'm into sales of fabrics. Liz Ankara Ashoki and four years ago I actually had the passion to start up a business but I had no funds so at that time what I did was I got a phone then I went into the market I started snapping fabrics then I will my with the help of my sister I actually signed up on Instagram and I will post those pictures then for the first time, somebody said, wow, I love this Ankara, please, can you get it for me? And that was my first. I started with zero, um, like three digits um, profits, not up to a thousand naira. And um, to the glory of God at the moment, the business has been taken to about um, six digits um, in naira. I, I am not there yet, <laughs> but I, I am still looking forward to um, fully making use of the potential of the social media. Okay, um, we we'll still have to talk about uh, the social media more, but let's let's go back to the challenges you faced while you were starting off um, this idea. Uh, nurturing this idea is one thing, and then getting it in motion is another thing. And you know, I'm sure lots of startups have obstacles that they face. Could you tell us some obstacles that you faced when you were starting your business? All right. Um, is actually, I think it's knowledge. You know, when I started, I didn't have much knowledge mm. about the social media, so I was just doing trial by error. Although, with time, I started reading, I was looking for free um, trainings where I could get yeah. improve my knowledge, and that was how I came about your company. Mm. And with the help of knowledge that I got here and there. Um, I was able to move the business to the next level. So basically, it's acquisition of knowledge. Mm -hmm. That that was the challenge you faced. Yes, you didn't really yes. know I didn't know. So I was just, it was like just mm -hmm. I was just working in the dark. Mm -hmm. So just trying anything. So I just feel that if as as I mean I got to meet mm -hmm. professionals like you okay. earlier, you know I would, okay. <laughs> okay. I would probably have gone more than farther than yeah. where I am at the moment. Uh, so, so when you started, you, you said um, you started with Instagram. Mm -hmm. uh, your first order, where did you get it? Was it on, on Instagram. Facebook? You got on it on Instagram. Instagram. Yes. Okay, okay. Now, so ever since then now, I, I'm sure you must have had hundreds of others, if I'm not mistaken. If not more than that. If not more than that. <laughs> Impressive. Okay, yes. so now, we're trying to explore the power of the social media right now. Okay. As a young startup right now, and you 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 are seeing the potentials that the social media has, mm -hmm. what would you say, how would you say the social media has helped your business in the, the recent years exactly? Okay. Social media, like I said, it's, um, it has a lot of potential in it. 
even though you have to use the right strategy. Mm. And that's where professionals like you come in to help and guide. So, like I said, I started, I started with zero. Zero. As in, I, didn't, I remember there was a day I snapped a picture, I posted it, and somebody from um, US said, oh, wow, I love these fabrics. And then by the time I got back to the market, the fabrics was no longer there. You know, I, I I wanted to cry that day, you know, but with time, you know, um, social media, through the help of social media, Facebook, even though I'm not there yet, like okay. I said, I'm not there, I'm still learning, um, social media, Facebook, I was able to, at least gradually, I started getting my own stuff, so I don't have to run back to the market, okay. snap, even though I am still snapping, in fact, most of my sales comes from the social media. Right now, could you share a picture, a mental picture of where you see your business in the next five years? I would love You have to follow under the anointing. Okay. So. In the next five years, I would love to show big things to be an household name. Mm. Where they want to get fabrics. Oh, it's actually big things. That's mm. where I'm looking at. <laughs> okay. So, but uh, you still have to understand the, the power of social media, right? Mm -hmm. So, what of are you course. doing about that to enhance your knowledge? In that of course, way? I'm still talking to professionals um, day in, day out. I am still sourcing for help mm. uh, as much as I could get because I know I, I can't do it by myself all alone. I need professionals to put me through. All right. Thank you very much, Adiola. Thank it's, you. It's been so nice speaking with you. But before I let you go, okay. I want you to inspire um, a young person out there uh, with your story. And um, under a minute, I want you to talk to somebody looking at the camera. Please don't look at me. If you look at me, you'll be fine. Mm -hmm. So look at the camera okay. and talk to somebody out there. Tell them that you can start small and then definitely you can make something out of your idea. Okay. All right, so all the youths out there, my brothers, my sisters, I would like to encourage you that there are a lot of vices out there that are distracting, that could be distracting, but you could stay focused, you can stay focused. It doesn't matter how small you're starting, but just start doing something, keep moving on. There will be discouragement, there will be frustrations that might want to get you derailed or off the track. Just keep moving forward. You can get there. Even though I started with a zero um, income, but I've been able to take the uh, business with the help of God to the next level. And I am still moving to the next level. So you can do much more better. See you at the top. Talking about your business, could you just give us a heads up about your business? What do you do? And um, how can people find you? what you do. Okay. Ashabi Things deals with the supply of quality and exquisite fabrics. Lace and Kara Ashoke. And on Facebook you can find us at Ashwebi Things. On Instagram, Ashwebi Things underscore NG. And physically, um our shop is located at 13 Uluwa Chemistry, Ujudu Bega, Lagos. Right, thank you very much.